<laughs> but that was kind of fun. And um, we've been, uh, the other thing we've been like working on uh, is it all started and you, you, most of you have seen the thread about death. And it's because I'm doing an MP3 about death and its role in manifestation and in life. And um, the, the exercise that we were looking at uh, about death uh, was simply um, thinking about, okay, I'm going to live for 100 years, and I'm going to live for 200 years, I'm going to live for 500 years, I'm going to live for 1,000 years, 5,000 years, 10,000 years, what would happen? And then eventually you reach a point, most people do, so I don't know if anybody hasn't, maybe somebody hasn't, but I think one person didn't. <laughs> But eventually you come to a point when you go, okay, that's it, I'm not going to live longer than that. And then you see why. You look at why. And then you go, I get bored, or I'll do this, or I'll do that, or whatever reasons. And that's like, if you follow the energy line of that reason, it's mostly why you're not fulfilling your life or really enjoying your life or really manifesting the life that you want right now. It's really fascinating, but it's actually, it works. You know, it really does work. And then the other one, the exercise we did last week, is about <clears throat> what, um, uh, what was it? Uh, not identifies you, but um, defines you, right? That was last week, right? So it's like, what defines you? So you look at, um, I am blah, I am, or I do blah, or I really enjoy blah, or I, you know, I don't like blah too, I didn't do that. But it's like all these things that you feel really strongly about or identify with. And if you think, I, I don't know what I can identify with, just look around you, you look around your stuff, the type of clothes you're wearing, what's decorating your room, what sort of stuff you carry with you. And you see the majority of that stuff has a theme type thing and that's going to be the stuff that really defines you and um and that is uh going to follow up then as well because it's it's connected to the other one in that when we reincarnate right when we die and then we come back we redefine ourselves and that's one of the main reasons for um death and reincarnation it's like we leave and we just drop everything that we had, right? And all the identities that we had, like the cultural identity and the um, uh, like likes and dislikes, skills. Um, we drop them and then we pick up or we, or we carry the ones that we're still liking. Um, and then we move on. And um, so we can try a completely different life, yeah? Uh, with with those new aspects and what different definitions of ourselves and um, you know it's like I hear a lot about people saying oh um, I come back or we come back to finish lessons or learn lessons and do this and that but that's a small self you know that's a small identity that's still part of the definition because you we are like div a divine eternal being doesn't really need any lessons right so it's like what lessons are we talking about and then comes in the part about this 3d like the 3d world the human body elemental because i don't care um where a person's soul has come from if that person is presently in human form they're human because what makes a human is very simple it's a human physical body. It doesn't matter how much hybrid or alien DNA it has in it, but it's a human body and a humanoid, human, like you can walk down the street and you look exactly like a human. <laughs> People won't scream and run away or anything. And um, so you're, that's the human part, the human elemental body. And then a soul construct, a soul and a singular being um, with the identity that animates it so when you have that symbiotic relationship between the elemental body that's in a very physical dimension and the soul ele uh, eternal elemental being animating it that makes a human being if it's a planetary the, this planet once right so everybody here it um is human and that's part of it i think because um, it comes back 
to another exercise. I'm going to actually put that up in the, for next week. So I'm kind of giving you a little hint about it. <laughs> it's about um, when it all started, you know, when was the first human body? How was it created? And everybody will get like an image, right? An image. And then we're going to compare and see what image do you get when you think, okay, the first, first spark of human physical, elemental body, whatever created or has become where and when and what you know and that gives you a big clue about um our whole nature as human beings so yeah that's going to be interesting to do for next week and i'll write it all up and so you don't have to remember it i'll write it up and put it on the on the forum um so yeah that, that's the stuff that i've been looking at and i'm finding really interesting um personally speaking um I'm going through that, you know, like I love Ely's post on the, um, on the death rate about, uh, oh my gosh, you know, it's so funny. The, so we're all these light beings, right? And uh, we're all covered in blankets so nobody can see us. And we carry an extra blanket in case somebody's shining too much, we throw it on top of them. <laughs> I thought that was so, so funny because that is so true. There's a lot of things and firewalls that will stop us from really, really shining, yeah? really like popping in energy and really showing ourselves and uh, for this year or for like i don't know the rest of the year or, or for the next 12 months i think that we can really explore all those areas and I think it's going to be really fascinating and cool and liberating so